Michelle back with another video. Today's video is going to be a pet peeves video part dose because my part one video, I have already done it. It's been on my channel for a very long time. But if you want to see that video and you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below in the description box so you can go and check that out if you guys haven't already. So... This video is going to be in the video where like it's different pet peeves that I have accumulated over my past times that find out that like really aggravate me and irritate me to the extent. So um yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking and let's get on. Okay, so my first pet peeve. Oh my gosh. My first pet peeve is pessimistic, pessimistic, pessimistic. I think it's pessimistic people, and basically, if you don't know what pessimistic means or pessimistic, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's people that are always negative. Like, I'm always, I'm always trying to be positive, you know, always look at the good things and the better things in life, and you just have people that are like, oh my gosh, I hate my life, I hate this, like, ugh. Like, I don't like people always being negative. Like, I always love positivity and stuff like that. So, it just aggravates me when I am around people or know a person or, like, associate with myself with peop with the person who is always negative. Because, to me, that makes me feel like that I start to get, like, the, not the aroma, but, like, I guess get, get the negative vibes. And the negative vibes just, like, come on to me. And then, like, I'm all negative. And I don't like to be negative. So, that's my first pet pee. My second pet peeve is people. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. When you are in a classroom, right? You're in a classroom. And you know, you have like the goofy ones, you like to have the class clowns and stuff. But these are the people that, like, the ones that are always goofing off in class, the one that always get in trouble all the time, 24-7, and they just, like, grab something and they just randomly throw it. Or they just randomly, like, do little tiny things to, like, aggravate you. That makes me so mad. Like, why are you doing that? And they just do that just to act out. And they, like, act dumb just because to act dumb. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, can you grow up? Can you be mature? Like... Like, what is wrong with you? Like, why can't you not do it? Okay. My third pet peeve that I have found out that irritates the living crap out of me, like, irritates me so much, is when... Okay. Like, I know you people can't help it sometimes. People can't, like, you know, like, some people can't afford to do it, something like that. But hygiene, I'm talking about hygiene. Some people's hygiene, like, I'm going to need you to get some of, like, some of these girls, too, like, they, like, really, like, I get it if you, like, come after, come out of gym and you, like, kind of stink or whatever. Just have some perfume or, like, some deodorant inside of your locker, like, in your gym locker or in your book bag or something. Always have something on you. But, no, I'm talking about these people that come to school already stinking. Like, they're already musty. And I'm like, I used like... Like, I'm going to need you to get some Febreze, some perfume, and stuff like that. Like, like there's no need for you to come to school already stinking. Like, already smelling. Like, what? Like, can you fix that, please? Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but, like, can you fix that, please? Because sometimes, in my second period class, I don't know who those first period people are. I don't know what, they re what they're doing inside of there. Don't know who they are. But every single time I walk into my second period class, it always stinks. And it's like the morning. And it's the morning. So I'm like, why does it already stink in here? Like, that just like irritates me to like no other. Like, oh my God. My fourth pet peeve is. Let me just sit down for this one because, you know, this one irritates me. Like, I'm saying everything irritates me. Like, literally, it irritates me. When, I said this before in my last video, but it's when people make noise when they eat. When they make noises when they eat. Like, you have, like, that's, like, so disgusting. Like, do you not know how to eat? Can you not eat like a horse? Like, like, that just, like. 
like it makes my skin crawl inside like it's just like so ugh. like because you they could be eating right and they open up their mouth and they go and but you could they're, as they're eating they're like I'm like ugh. like that's like gross like can you please just close your mouth because first of all I don't want to hear the noises and second of all I don't want to see the food that is in your mouth like can you, like, and my fifth and last pet peeve is, so my pet peeve, my last and final pet peeve, when somebody nags and when somebody complains, like, they'd say, like, oh, I want to lose weight, let's do this, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, excuse me. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. This house is dirty, this thing is dirty, this needs to be clean, this needs to, and like, they just nag and complain and complain and complain, but they don't do anything about it. If it bothers you so bad, if you need it to be fixed, if you want it, something to be done, if you want something to be changed, you need to get your butt up and do it yourself. Like, you don't have maids that you just pay, like, laying around, unless you're rich or something and you got money like that, but I don't have money like that. So, like, it irritates me when people just complain, com com complain, and complain, but they don't do anything about it. If you want to lose weight, then go lose weight and try your hardest to do so. If you want the house to be clean, go and clean the house. If you want your room to be clean, go there and go clean your room. Like, I'm not going to clean it for you. Like, that's just, like, what? Anyway, guys, I am so heated right now. So, I'm going to be doing more videos. Sorry, I haven't been like into my video thingies i just recently had my cheer competition like last week it was last sunday and i haven't been able to post i had many practices and yeah but i'm trying to get into the back of things i always say this but i'm going to really try so um yeah um don't forget to comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see me make and also give this video a big a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and don't forget to hit the bell like make sure you you have my notifications on so you get notified every single time I upload a new video just like this one and I post many many more and um yeah I'll see you in my next video and remember if anybody hasn't told you they loved you remember I do bye <laughs>